Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. So there is this message that I want to read that I got a copy from, um, that is coming from the Asebu Pan-African office, all right? And it's saying that, what is it? It's saying that, okay, um, they want us to fill the phase one before going to phase two or three so that, so, so our guys are working out to find empty spaces so we can allocate to new people before we go to phase two or we'll continue to phase two. That is why there's been this delay. Echo, echo, echo city. All right, so I read that. Uh, there's a message from the Asebo Pan-African office. All right. Thank you very much for checking out my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, kindly subscribe and share this video, you know. When I check my YouTube analytics, it says that 60% of people who watch my videos have not subscribed. So I wonder why you don't, why, why haven't you subscribed? I mean, this is some of the relevant videos that I try to bring to my people out there. So kindly go ahead. I know maybe you just see the video you watch and then you move on. Just subscribe to my channel so that we can build this channel together. And don't forget to like, yes, like my videos share my videos comment on my videos and let's push this video together all right so let me take you back to what really happened i know some of you are privy to this information and some of you are not so in 2019 uh the president invited the african diaspora community to come home and then ghana this is ghana i mean when i say to come home to come to the motherland but he can invite you to uh, nigeria or cameroon or Kenya, because that's not where he is. He's in Ghana, the president of Ghana. So he said, okay, you are invited to come home. And then the chief of one community. So there's been this, you know, I see it. I know Asebu is in Ghana, but this is not the whole Ghana giving out free land. Yes, it is. When you take Ghana, we have 16 regions in Ghana. And I happen, and Asebu happened to be in one of the most relaxed beautiful calm region in the whole of ghana it is called central region of ghana with cape coast being the capital town so when it comes to central region there's this part where we call asebu so the chief said hey i am the chief of asebu i am willing to give out land to brothers and sisters who feel like they want to have an alternative as to where they want to live yes the beauty of an african village is that we are not getting people just from the US. We yeah. are getting people from the UK, from the Caribbean, uh, maybe from Africa. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've seen some people from Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah, yes. Cameroon, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. Cameroon, they all coming here. So look, this is this is a universal project for all, uh, anybody black, mm -hmm. I know. And uh, so we, we're saying that feel free, we have offered this uh, land uh, for you, uh, gifted this land, come and take advantage if you really want to relocate to Africa, Ghana is your home. Come, we welcome you, we open our hands, and we want to welcome you back home. And so you can still be in the West, do your thing, do your work. It is not necessary for you to come and live here, but if you want to come and live here, that is, that is so cool. But he's saying that you can still have an alternative, which is to move to the motherland, Ghana, central region, Asebu, to be specific. So these were the variations. I know most of you are not aware of this because when you call me, you said, ah, I call, I thought it was $700. Yes. All right. So beginning of the project, there were three variations. Okay. We have three different sizes and three different administrative costs. So we have 80 by 80 for um, $700. We had 80 by 100 for $1,000. And then we had um 100 by 100 for 1200 dollars but after a while the variations and everything started causing confusion so they were like hey let's stay with one size and one administrative cost that is how come now we have 80 by 100 for 1200 us dollars so that is it now secondly they started in phases we started with phase one and then we are now in phase two but I know there's been some delays in people getting their indentures, getting their allocation, and especially those who sent their money directly to the bank without informing the officers. I know there's been you know delay in acknowledgement of receipt and payment and all that. 
I'm sure they are working on that. But aside that, people are also waiting for the uh, um, indentures and allocation. Now, the issue from the message that I read is that they have realized that there are a lot of free spaces that has not been attended to, that has not been allocated to anyone due to oversight. So now what the issue is that they are focusing on getting the road done doing the construction i mean putting some road so that you know when we are going to build we can easily go through with our supplies and all that and they are focusing too on looking at the spaces within phase one because phase two is like moving like water but phase one is like stagnant it's, it's like it's going it's not going and they realize that a lot of people who got the land are either not connecting back they're not communicating to the office uh by way of maybe email or telephone or anything they are not communicating and those places have been left for a long time maybe more than two years because uh this whole thing started in 2019 2020 so it's been there for more than two years so the chief and the team are fishing now all those empty spaces i remember in one of the videos i was interviewing mr lane and mr lane made mention of that echo they have to look contact the people if they are not ready Let's give it out to another person, you know. So I think that is what the community or the team is looking at right now. They are looking into places that they think has been left unattended to so that they can go ahead and reallocate it. If it, is, if it has to be reallocation, uh, definitely they will do the due diligence and call or contact those uh, who made uh, contact to get or who acquired those land. But the other places that, like I said, due to oversight, they couldn't allocate it to anybody. So now the message is if you have made payment and you are waiting for your indentures and everything on the phase two, they are looking at bringing you to phase one. I know people who are waiting on me. I have put in applications for people and they're like, Echo, I've not gotten my indentures. I've not gotten my this. I've not gotten my that. For the past one week, two weeks, that is the um the job they are doing now you know they do the construction i i even made a video showed it to you miss karen also made a video praising the chief and the team for you know trying to put some way uh some street through so that people can easily go in and come out and then aside that they're also looking at how they can fish out all those empty spaces within phase one so that those who are waiting on their uh, uh indentures for for second phase or phase two will be moved some of you will be moved to phase one to you know um, start doing your project over there so um i also come in and played with you on behalf of basebu pan african village or the office that uh, qu uh try and be patient with them as they are working on it i mean for 2024 i have personally seen the development okay uh with the office okay from 2020 till now like i told you this was a project out of um out of will from the chief. So there are certain things uh, we didn't know what to do, the team didn't know what to do, and now we are learning each day. I know I know there are African diaspora brothers and sisters who come to office purposely to say, hey, I know how to do this, I wanna help. I know when you go there, there are people in the office who are helping uh, the office, you know, do the administrative work and all that. So we all learn, we all learn. So a few things that were not done now, the chief and the team putting effort into it, making sure that some of these things are done correctly. So I came your way today is 11th of March 2024 to tell you that a lot is happening. A lot is going down. If you're waiting on your allocation, like I have personally applied for a lot of people. I, don't, I can't be mentioning your name because it's private. So and you're expecting that I call where my indentures and all that. So when we went to the office, this is the information that they gave and i can't be calling everybody one by one and say this is what they are doing or this is what they are up to that is why i am coming your way today to tell you to give you updates of what is happening with the asable pan-african village they are still doing the road fixing the road day in day out and there's been few uh hitches here and there the last time i was there whilst they were doing it the machine broke down and all that a few other people also came in called and said hey I think the road is entering my plot. So they are taking time, you know, with the um, contractor who did uh, the road and everything. They are taking time to make sure things work accordingly. So I uh, plead with you. Take it easy with Asebo Pan Africa. Be patient on them. They are working on what they have to work on to make sure that 
everything goes on smoothly. Um, just like how you, you, you talk about, or I won't say you complain, you complain. Yeah. Just like how you complain about the weather in, in the U S Canada or U S about the coldness. This time is really hot. It is, this is really, really hot in Ghana. Very hot. Like I get out from the house, I sit in my car. The next minute I'm sweating. Cause like the weather has changed. I mean, the climate has changed very early in the morning, around six o'clock. You see that the weather is pretty high, scorchy. So lately I've been inside all the time with my, you know, fresh breeze coming out from my hall. I have a ceiling fan. I have a standing fan. I have to put all of that on just to keep myself cool. And uh, we've been advised that if you have nothing doing in town, just stay home, you know, to avoid the sun rays and then the scorches and all that. So, hey, thank you very much for checking me out. I am very glad that um, you're taking your time to watch my videos. Kindly share this video to anybody that you think is affected with this whole, um, you know, reallocation and then the road and everything. So uh, be patient with the Asibo Pan-African Village and the office. And if you have time and you go on your knees, say a prayer to the chief of Asibo Pan-African Village. He's doing his best for our brothers and sisters. Thank you very much for checking me out. Peace.